Well, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is an achievement slash trophy guide for unlocking both Thor's hammer and Thor's helmet. In order to unlock Mjolnir, you will need to unlock Thor's hammer first, but this is going to take a bit of work, so let's get to it. To start, we need to defeat the three daughters of Larian, with the first being the level 90 Goneril in Grantbridgeshire. As you enter the area, you'll need to interact with a desecrated body to start up a cutscene and begin the fight. Goneril is the easiest of the three daughters, but by no means is she a pushover. She uses dual blades and attacks quickly, including an unblockable leaping attack to close distance. Be cautious as Goneril will spawn in a phantom of herself that mimics her attacks, but she doesn't utilize this move as frequently as her sisters do. We recommend using a long-reaching heavy weapon or dual wielding two of them and using the brush with death skill to slow time after you dodge to deal lots of damage very quickly. With her defeated, you'll unlock Thor's breaches and Goneril's dagger, which we will use later. Next, we need to defeat Regan in East Anglia. She is level 160 and immediately poses a bigger challenge than Goneril. Enter the area and interact with the desecrated body to trigger the cutscene and the fight. Regan utilizes many of the same moves as Goneril, including the use of dual daggers, but once she hits half health, back away to avoid her blast as she unleashes her second phase. Regan will be trailed by fire and will attack much more frequently with a fire phantom that mimics her moves and hurts a lot. But the strategy remains the same as Goneril. Keep your distance and use your brush with death skill when you can to deal loads of damage. With her defeated, you'll unlock Thor's battle plate and Regan's dagger, which we will use later on. Our final daughter to defeat is Cordelia in East Anglia. She is level 340 and massively overpowered no matter how leveled you may be. Enter her area and interact with the desecrated body to start the cutscene and begin the fight. Cordelia is a much different fight than the last two. She has the ability to teleport away from you and launch phantoms at you so quickly that it's almost impossible to dodge them all, but I believe in you. Do your best to close down distance and get hits in when you can, but remain cautious. At half health, her second phase will begin. She will rain lightning down on the battlefield and increase her phantom attacks. Also at this point, you will only be able to get in 2-3 to three hits before she automatically breaks any stun lock and hits you with an unblockable attack. Again, utilize your brush with death skill and take this fight slowly, being opportunistic with your attacks and eventually you'll take her down. With her defeated, you'll unlock Thor's gauntlets and Cordelia's dagger, which we can now use since we have all three daggers from the Daughters of Larian. With all three daggers, head to this location on the eastern edge of East Anglia. You'll find a church here with a smaller shed behind it. Head down the ladder inside of this shed and follow the path looting along the way until you reach a statue. Interact with it three times to insert all three daggers into its back and destroy it, revealing a path that goes even further down.
Head down this path until you come to a larger open room, and at the end of that room is going to be a chest. Inside of that chest will be Thor's helmet. Collecting it will earn you an achievement or trophy. The King's Fortune. Got it. Our final step before unlocking Mjolnir is to eliminate all of the Order of the Ancient members and return their medallions to Hytham in Ravensthorpe to unlock Thor's cape. You'll find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? With Thor's full armor set equipped, head to Hordefolk in the northern part of Norway and you should find a massive crevice in this area. At the far end will be Thor's hammer. You can visit this area without his armor set and look at Mjolnir, but you can't actually interact with it without his armor set equipped. This will unlock another achievement or trophy for wielding Mjolnir. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as that really helps me out and I'll see you guys later.